Hello everyone and welcome back. As you all heard in the last part, the Australian Bomber Corps, whatever they're called, the, F well, the Anzac Bombers are here. We've got the 6th Royal Army Air Force, I don't know what the hell that means. The, the, we've got the 6th thing, it's a bunch of F-111s that with 8 one-ton bombs. They're here to fuck shit up. Um, along with an Anzac division being available soon, as well as a German Bundeswehr division. Uh, preferably, hopefully in the next day, we'll be able to show up in Mokopo, Yoso, Busan, and push forward to help relieve the very exhausted troops who basically pushed their whole goddamn way up Korea. Um, these special forces are going to be pivotal in taking Rusan because, well, the only thing that defends it right now is a bunch of tank faggots. And they're the only thing that really don't have anyone who can be killed by tank faggots. The thing this means, though, is that we don't have to send support to anyone in this area, because that should be taken care of pretty easily. The symmetry regiment has basically been decimated, and it's just going to be the engineers now. Who have, what, some flamethrowers? And some other stuff? I don't even know if they have a command unit left. Also, over here in Seoul, we're going to cross the border and encounter probably some of the fiercest fighting of the whole campaign. Um, a lot of artillery. We've got those French Tigers on our side. Along with the heavy infantry presence. Anti-air convoy. Two anti-air convoys. And artillery support. And air support. It's about to get crowded as all hell. We're gonna have to push up through the Yellow Sea. Of course, being the most crowded and bloody expected fight, we're going to send in a bunch of aircraft. Um, not expecting as bad a resistance over there. Gonna send in some fighter planes too, as MiG 31s are nearby. And it'd just be good to have fighter cover for this attack, considering how many units are throwing on the line. These are just MiG 21s though, but oh, those have South Coast missiles, I didn't even know that. Some anti tank MiG 21s. Well, they're. Yeah, they're MiG 21s still. It'd be a good idea to have those guys on the line. Um. And we'll send these peace pheasants up here and go help take care of the engineer, because why not? We will s actually rest our attack helicopters, probably. No, no, we'll charge everyone in. You guys can rest later. You can rest when you're dead. So, a lot of battles happening this time. One, two, three, four, five battles. So we'll go ahead and kick it off with the naval battles so that we can be sorely disappointed at my navy's performance. We'll go ahead and kick it off the naval sector Bravo, finishing off the Congo battle. <clears throat> for better or for worse. Nothing but Congos. Congos are the only thing really worth the damn in this entire <laughs> force. And then a bunch of LCUs. Keep them Congoing. Watch the battle. And uh, we'll wait until we can get a helicopter up to see what's going on. Make it normal. Oh, look, another helicopter. Oh no. They've spotted us. Who would have ever assumed that we'd be exactly where we were? I'll move this LCU back here. And we'll get a heli up here. Back to quick time.
Whoa, that's not close fast. Okay, it's just a helicopter. This looks to be a Jing Hao, though. There's some Huijins over here. Let's see if we can find any Munas. He'll fire off both of his missiles and... They'll have no effect. Hello, helicopter buddy. Bye bye, helicopter buddy. Oh shit, we're in range? On my way to coordinates, out. How are you in range? Oh, we can't even do our surgical strike now. Damn. Looks like a lot of Huijins. Oh shit, my LCUs! Okay, what no! Hide. Move our cargoes out here. Go face the dread LCU killer. Ah, Park, he approaches. Surprise! You really don't like these people. This isn't like a trifling dislike like you get in middle school. This is like a... Yeah. There's a Huijin. Lots of Huijins. There's a Jing Hui right there. I'd like to apologize to all of Asia really quickly for butchering their language. Hmm. Mmm. Oh, it's getting kind of hot in here because the computer is heating up the stupid room. And they will charge ahead confidently because confidence is key. That again, so are an impressive array of missiles. Uh, got myself a pine tree. Scoot up a mountain because I'm bored. Alright, um, let's... They're going to be shooting at my helicopter, aren't they? Nope, they're shooting at my... Not helicopter. Burned a lot of stuff in Congo. Pulled Congo back. Actually, no, it looks like they're holding, like, pretty well. Oh yeah, you guys don't worry about the fuel. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just make sure that they're still shooting at the end of the day and that they still move. And so long as they stay on range of that giant ass cannon, which I will forever picture firing giant asses at people now, um, we'll be good. We're the next Congo into range. Should poke around right about here and be like, oh hi. I said like, oh hi. Hi there, I'm a Congo. How do you not see them? Just go out a little bit further then. really big shells, you're just kind of firing straight across the deck. Boom! Yeah, they felt that on board here. They're about to feel the wrath of the Congo. Feels like something the British would... Feels like a play, play the British would write. Into like post Victorian uh, kind of guilt. Let's see if I can't get a Dong Hei to sneak out around the side and shoot down the helicopter that's annoying me. You can't shoot down bullets!
<clears throat> yeah, don't care. Take that helicopter down. I love the Dong Hei, specifically for its anti-aircraft capabilities. Not anti-missile, just anti-aircraft capabilities. I'm gonna keep it around to shoot down specific helicopters that I don't like. And we're not gonna get any new Congos, so let's go... Eh, what's the, what, what should I use here? Where Rampage comes to mind. Everyone stop. Whoa. Missiles from beyond. Get up get up top. So I can get some good reconnaissance before I go charging around really alley. Super speedy helicopter. Yeah, Donghe? Yep. We have a task for you. You have a very specialized set of skills. Boom. Nope. That looked excruciatingly painful. Alright, looks like it's just those guys, so we'll go ahead and fly this guy up here to double check slash confirm our intel reports that tell us that there are two ships in there. Being that our intel reports come from him, we're just going to basically run a recce mission. With only him. And if it's just them, we're going to charge ahead like a bunch of batshit crazy motherfuckers. Because I want to open this port wide. Get out here. Actually, no. Um, one second. Uh, get out here also, Pohang. Now get out there. Let's go to war. You wanted to fight China? Uh, slash North Korea. You're gonna get a fight. You can't touch my Congos. Big Congo, too strong -go for you to... Pongo with your... Bombo. Oh god, I'm gonna get attacked by that, whatever his name was. We should have done Spanish class one day. The undead ghost of Ricky Valdez. That's who YouTube is going to send after me now. The semi-deceased ghost of Ricky Valdez. It'd be kind of funny to watch, you know? Mm, sir. We have an incoming contact. Who is it? <laughs> oh god. It's the undead ghost of Ricky Valdez. Rico? Richie. Richie. That's what his name was. Richie Valdez. Stop firing your missiles and start firing your big cannon thingy. And your missiles. Those are cool too. <laughs> just shooting down stuff as it shows up. I feel like the Pong Hei is an early war, or early Cold War example of something. I mean, I don't want to just rout them. I want to destroy them by sinking this ship. I'm actually going to turn off your defensive, like, anti-air weapons, so that you stop shooting down helicopters at a rate faster than we can sink this ship. Because I really, really, really want to sink this ship. Like, get in there and sink that ship! Feels like it's a game show now. If we can sink this ship... Oh, wait, no. This will just be the last command vehicle on there. But yeah! Destruction! Explosion! Cheap tactics. No more command thingies, and we took out all their points too. And this is our sector now. We might have lost one Congo at some point in time, but they've lost 21 freaking ships. That is not a fighting force anymore. And I'm happy for it. We lit their asses on fire. And the port is open for the taking. 
Now the infantry here are dug the hell in. And they've got Chinese MiG-21s on standby. And they've got an attack helicopter squadron. But I can take these guys and move them into Naval Sector Charlie if Charlie should need the help. And also, if Charlie wants to, they can just try and bypass those guys anyway. These Marines can just plod along in Naval Sector Bravo and straight up to Alpha, escorted by, um, those guys. Which I will do now to get them out of an undefended Naval Sector Bravo. Delta. We'll escort them up to Sochon and try our damnedest to take it quickly, although we might just go for Quindao. Go for a quick victory at Quindao and see if we can't do that. Uh, I'll do one more battle at Naval Sector Charlie. I'm trying to get the naval battles out in this episode. Lots of muskets and ludas. We've got some Hatsuyukis and OHPs, though. Hatsu should be... I don't remember if they're good or not, to be honest. Got a bunch of OHPs, but they're really bloody expensive, so I hope they're good, because I'm going to buy a shit ton. Okay, cool. Um, Hatsuyuki, what do you got? You got a bunch of that stuff, but it's not good. Uh, you're, you're kind of alright, but this guy's got the thingies. Then you guys got the, the stuff. The stuff and things that I'm talking about. I might just bring out a shit ton of OHPs, to be honest. Yeah, Oliver Hazard Perry has solved, served me well before. And then we'll get some extra Hatsuyukis. Alright, launch the battle. You get up here and tell me what's going on. I must call him Newton Gingrich. I don't know who that is, anyway. I just know I've heard his name before. He's a politician or something. I know I sound kind of ignorant right now, but I don't care. You know, don't bother to, like, get up to the top of the mountain. You just fly in a weed the entire way up. Right, so they're trying to settle down over there. Nope. OHP force! Attack! Rarg! For Narnia! You just bumped straight into our command vehicle. You're fired from the Navy forever. Well, all of you stop running your ships into each other. God, we're gonna sink our own damn ships, aren't we? Oh god, they're coming from the other side, too. We're going to need so much... Okay, good thing we got the money for it. We have the money to defend everything. And do massive missile saturation attacks. I can do this the entire time. I'm gonna crawl inside your helicopter hangar. Ah! Haha! <laughs> I'm going to war. Okay, so maybe I'm a little, just a little bit bored by naval battles. Looks like they're trying to do a sortie down the place, so that's a lot of lootas. Whole lot of looters in here. Yeah, a whole lot of looters. Yeah. I'm gonna get attacked by so many different song companies by the end of this thing. Just because I happen to like good music. Everyone attack the looter. I want this looter to be limp at home, you understand? You hear me? You picking up what I'm putting down? Alright. Stop. Turn off your weapons. Turn your weapons back on. Now watch the magic happen. If you all launch missiles at the same time, you're gonna get obliterated. If y'all could aim. More Hatsuyukis!
I will order everything in bulk. I'll pick one of each. See, that's much better. This loot is totally fucked. He doesn't even know it yet. Boom! See? Well, like 12 of you guys might know. Oh shit, that's a lot of moss kits. I need Pegasus! Wait, no, guys, hold. Hold, hold, the, hold the line. Hold the line right about here. No, my Hatsuyuki. It's getting Hatsu fucked up. Then again, I'd rather lose one of those than an OHP, because an OHP is actually useful. Quick, strike these looters. My loyal servants. Group. Let's hope the enemy don't have any air defense. Shh, don't care about your air defense. Um, boys, launch those missiles. Please, sink a looter. Well, you managed to poke him with a stick. He's angry now. Really angry. Everyone come hide behind here. I hate muskets. Like little speed boots of death and destruction and they're annoying as all hell. Get another Hatsuyuki up here. He knows what I'm talking about. Everything I say I can relate to a song. I either listen to too much radio or you all don't listen to enough. And I think I'm always right, so you know. Well, we're about to get run to by a bunch of looters. It's a good thing my ships are insanely capable of defending themselves. Please. Right, we have one Pegasus, apparently. I don't know where the other Pegasi went, but... We only got one. Hatsuyuki's! Um... Love of God, find something to shoot these guys with. You guys, charge! Charge the Hatsuyuki Brigade! Fire on the weak one. We must eliminate him. He is weak. Aha! No, stop being panic. Why do the ships move faster? Damn, not impossible to get them to do their damn job. Which is literally go straight. Oh, they have to go around the stupid reef. That's not only annoying, it's also unhelpful. You go this way. Come hang out back here, Hatsu UK. Make sure you bump into the other guy while you do it. God knows he doesn't need to stay intact. And be quick about it. Fine. Both come back this way. In fact, we'll all hang out right here. Some giant amorphous ship blob. You especially, just stop so I can call some reinforcements. There, that should help us with our CIWS war. We're going to lose this hat to you, okay, so don't even bother. Just provide some glorious retreating, covering fire. You set up right there. 
Set up right there. Set up right here. You set up right here. I guess Pegasus is kind of like an ally in Mothkit. Allied? Not really allies. They're more... Not as Kanye as Mothkit. Nope, looks like they finally got that guy. Time to bring in the LCUs. Because God knows, filling a t putting a fold up tanker in the middle of a fleet is a wonderful idea. Oh no, Pegasus, come this way, quickly! That's Yuki's. That's who sold! Yeah, we're gonna need a bunch of Congos. This is just too many Ludas. It's ludicrous. Just like all these puns I'm making. Well, everyone's shooting. So that's nice. Turn that fan on higher. Warm in here. Go get the Luda. You too. Go get it. Go get it. You are already stopped. Seriously, this game does not understand how people are moving and not moving. It's more than a little annoying. So we're taking on the Luda with, um, which it has Yuki's. Not much else besides that. About seven ships needed to kill him. We could honestly probably do a giant ass charge right into the little mosquets and take him out. We have enough CIWS to do that, I think. Fuck it. Let's go for it. I, I believe the term fuck it is perceived as with every major military victory. The Germans in France just. <sighs> fuck it, we'll do it live! Close to range and fire, damn you! Our naval captain! If your guns aren't continually firing into something, you're probably wrong. Firing our CIWS weapons into speedboats. I don't know how anyone could have survived the first pass over by that. They would just go through everything. I mean, they didn't, but I don't even know how, how it was ever an issue in the first place. Yeah, we definitely read, lead them in the realm of, like, victory. And we're wrecking them on this front. With a bunch of Hatsuyukis. Oliver has her parries to the rescue! They're only moderately extremely damaged. Oh, we can get close enough to fire. Unless this looted. No, that's a musket, but still, whatever. Kill the musket. Your musket. survived simply because we have bigger fish to kill. But we decided to take time out of our busy day to fuck his day up. Because that's how we do in the government of America. Actually, we might end it right here, just by crushing this Luda beneath our giant Ezekiel. And if not there, then we'll definitely end it over here with this Luda.
which looted to explode. The one in the south. I don't even sure that's south, really. We smashed them. We lost a lot of boats, and they lost actually less boats than us. Than us, but now, considering that we have more boats hanging around, and most of the boats we lost were Cham Ceres anyway, which are very <clears throat> effective. We won a rather major victory over them. There's no way for them to retreat. So yeah, that's great. I'll go ahead and end the episode here and see you all in the next part.